This is INC Radio, DCEM 954, the voice of truth, the official radio station of the Church of Christ or Iglesia Ni Cristo. Canada, good morning, Philippines, and good afternoon, world. We are now broadcasting live from Canada, and as usual, I will be your host for this evening, for this morning, for this afternoon. My name is Brother Carlo Marquez from the District of Ottawa, local congregation of Montreal. And as you can see, I am not the only one here. I also have with me Sister Leilani. Hello, Brother Carla. Thank you so much. I'm Sister Leilani Galsim St. Amand from the local congregation of St. Laurent here in the district of Ottawa, Canada. And um, every, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, good morning, Philippines. And uh, you are now tuning in to INC Radio Canada, Canada Live through God's words. Thank you so much. And again, we'd like to thank everyone for tuning in so early. We already see a lot of brethren in the comments giving their greetings and saying their hellos to everyone. And So like usual, Tita Lailani, it's, yes. you know, we're falling into much more weather. So what time is it here and what's the weather like? The time check is already uh, 8.04. 8.04 at night Saturday here in Montreal. Yes. Eastern Standard Eastern Time. Eastern Standard Time. In the Philippines, so, I believe it's 8.04 a.m. Yes. We're 12 hours away. Uh, they're ahead Difference, and we're yes. late. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So what's the, what's the weather for today? For the weather, uh, springtime, we are 5 Uh, degrees Please. Celsius. It's a bit uh, it's a drizzle, bit yeah. drizzle. Drizzly outside. Yeah, yes. it's good for spring, uh, for the plants to grow. Yes, like winter's over yeah, now. Yeah, I can see some coming. flowers now. Eh? Oh, really? Yes, oh, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. So especially the tulips. Tulips are always like the first ones to yes. start growing because of the spring. But again, we'll get more into spring topic because, you know, this is just a little bit of a, a sneak peek into uh, tonight's segment. And so, uh, as usual, we are not the only ones here in our district, but we also have our other hosts that are connected with us. And so let's call on the District of British Columbia. Hello, everyone. Good morning. good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I am Sister Kathleen Ga from the District of British Columbia. And hello to all of our viewers and listeners who's watching INC Radio Canada. Um, Brother Carlo, the weather here is actually a lot warmer than yours. It's 17 degrees. Oh, and wow. It's really sunny. So I don't know if this is spring. <laughs> I feel like yeah, summer. I, right? I, I think 17 degrees, it feels like almost more towards summer. That's a very warm spring at the cat. Yes, for Love sure. Um, but I, before anything else, I would like to greet our district minister, Paul Brother, Glendo H. Baitan, our uh, CFO overseer, Brother Renel Romero, and our uh, DMM advisor, Brother Brian Bellarmino. And I would like to give a greeting also to our resident minister, Brother Jay Sitad. Thank you so much, Brother Carlo. And I think we also have someone from the neighboring uh, province in Calgary. Hello. Hello, brother. Who? Who could that be? Moi? <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Brother Philip Salvador from the District of Calgary, Canada, locale of Riverbend. Um, 
I'm super excited to be here today. And yes, the weather is also 17 degrees, which means it is super nice weather to wash your car. It is, it is, it is a pretty good weather. I think 17 degrees also, it's not too hot. The water is not going to evaporate right away. And, you know, it's, it's not too cold to do a car wash outside for yourself. So I think you guys have a pretty good spring weather. Now, how about there in the district of Edmonton? Hello, hello, Kuya Carlo and Adelani, and hello to everyone. Sister Jonah Lopez here from the local congregation of Eastwood District of Edmonton. And it is very nice, actually, today. It's 15 degrees here in Edmonton. So spring has finally sprung here, and it's it's really nice and warm. Uh, we consider that warm here in Edmonton. But like what Kuya Philip said, good time and good day to wash our cars. Yes, because uh, uh, it's really nice outside. Um, I wish we can we can show everyone what it looks like outside. But like everyone else who greeted their districts also, I would like to extend our acknowledgement to our district minister, Carolando E. Gaviola, our district multimedia advisor, Cam. Romal Cruz and our Christian family organization overseer, Ka Brian Tekneng, and also acknowledging our resident minister, Ka Eugene Agustin. And hopefully, everyone will have a very nice spring. And this is also our topic for tonight. So, back to you, Kuya Carlo and Atilani. Thank you so much, Thank Sister you. Jonah. Uh, before we continue on to our topic per se, so allow me to read some of the Top uh, the the chat live chat um, messages. Yes, I think we have a few comments there, Tika. Yes, uh, from Sister Jonah Lopez. Happy Saturday, Sunday to all, and from Brother our, our Christian Roda. Hello, INC Radio Canada satellite with the three colored three hearts. Three colored hearts. Thank yes. you, Brother, for tuning in. And uh, who else we have here? Um, we have as well. Oh, from. Uh, FG, Brother FG, hi, Paul, to everyone. Uh, from myself, hi, Brother Carlo, hi, Brother Carlo. We have also from Brother <laughs> Christian Neil Gao. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. We have Ate Kathleen's husband. Hello to my husband. <laughs> Hello, Javi. <Hello>. Ah. <laughs> uh, we also have from uh, Sister Samantha Gail Ilangan. Tita Lena, can you help Ila me with Ilagan. that? Sorry, can you help me with the Tagalog? Uh, Samantha Gail Gail? Yeah. Ilagan, there are there you are, Kuya, our Christian, and then as well we also have a sister, sister Fima Moscow, Moscow So sorry, Paul. Happy viewing, Paul from Saint John's GWS. Thank you so much, Paul, for uh, for tuning in to all our live viewers again. Don't be afraid, don't be shy to give your comments, to your thoughts, and just your greetings to all your loved ones, your friends, into everyone. And so again. Uh, we talked a lot about the weather, car wash, and, you know, just the beautiful spring weather this time around. And so, again, without further ado, this is the topic that we will be discussing this evening, this morning, and this afternoon, which will be our topic is Spring 101. And so it goes from, from allergies to fashion and the transition of the weather to prepare us for the new season. So that's what we will be talking about today in INC Radio Canada. So again, Tita Jonah, Brother Philip, at the cat. What do you guys? What can you guys say about spring? What is one thing like Brother Philip? You mentioned about car wash. What's one thing at the cat that, when you think of the word spring, what makes you think of anything related to spring? Anything related to spring is my allergy. <laughs> Allergies, definitely. That's the. Um, well, it's definitely very beautiful out, and I think normally during test time around. Everybody who would like to get a photo, especially in, here in Vancouver, we have a lot of uh, cherry blossoms and they're very beautiful outside and people are families and, and many individuals are actually going out, taking photos, doing photo shoot. But for me, it's just my allergy. So I stay out. I don't stay out a long time, but stay inside the house. <laughs> I, I can totally relate at the cat because as well, like just as much as I love winter and then let's say winter is over, summer is coming, spring is unavoidable and so are allergies because allergies, I can talk about it all day from morning to night. Allergies, it's like 
once a year, but it's very brief, but it makes a big impact on our life. It's like you go outside for like five minutes, you start coughing, you start sneezing, your eyes are itching, just all of the above. But, and then again, like you said, at the cat, like aside from allergies, the spring, it's the time for families to go out, take photo shoots and, you know, just start changing up the wardrobe a little bit. And so yes. uh, without further ado, Tita Lani, I think we also yes. have, what's another, what's the segment that we're going to have for the Kadiwa? Just, I think there's a segment for tonight. Right? I believe, I think it's the Kadiwa OOTD. What's, yes, what's we're gonna OOTD? Have OOTD? What, do you know what's OOTD, Tita Lani? Okay. Tita Lani, Brother Philip, I think, do you know what's OOTD, Brother Philip? Yes, I know what the OOTD is. What is, what is that? Out- what does that stand for? <laughs> Outfit of the day. <laughs> That's correct. Bro. The oot, Kadiwa oot. So those are the videos that we have prepared uh, here in the District of Ottawa. So some Kadiwas in relation to Spring 101, we talked about fashion. Uh, they came up with their own outfits. So Kriya uh, Tech, if you can play the first video from Sister Chloe the Guzman, who shows us her outfit, her Kadiwa outfit of the And today, I am wearing a black polka dot dress. This is a gift from my mother. And it matches my doll shoes and my yellow purse. And now, I am ready for the worship service. Thank you. And there you have it from Sister Chloe. Again, shout out to Ate Lane from the, dish, uh, from the local congregation of Halifax. Halifax. They're in Halifax. So all the way there, you can see brethren dressing up for the worship service, for their performance in uh, the worship service and their duties and whatever activities they have inside the church. What can you say about Sister Chloe's outfit? Oh, what I do you love? I love it. I love it. I could have it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tita Lani has a little bit of inspiration. I'm so petite. So, <laughs> so again, um, we have a lot more segments, a lot more um, ideas, more content to be shown in tonight's segment. And so uh, moving forward with tonight's hosting, we have we will be moving on to catching up with Canada. Canada. That's correct. Welcome back to Catching Up with Canada. Let's see what our brethren have been up to this week and what other activities we can expect. What do so, we have here in the District of Ottawa? Yeah, in the District of Ottawa, we ha- we just have the St. John Inaugural Worship Service. Uh, now it's a local congregation. Yeah. And uh, as you that's, can see there, that's our district the minister. There. Yeah. Um, the signing. There, yeah, the signing. And I think they have taken out of the officers. Yeah, that's our district supervising um, minister, Brother Morel yeah. Kadasho. Again, praise be to our mighty God. That's also our choir special gathering that we had. Again, more officers that took oath in the yeah. choir special gathering. I was there in the first uh, inaugural when they're having their first worship service. There's mm-hmm. only like 20 brethren there. But and now they grew yeah, so much. And, and as you can see, also even the choir now members. they grow and expanded and they propagated the whole exactly, Atlantic yes. region, actually. So, oh, that's right. And so that's what we had as well here as Catching Up With Canada in the District of Ottawa. Now let's ask... Here in the district of Calgary, what do you have for catching up with Canada at the cat? Oh, sorry, Brother Philip. Do I get picture prompts too? If you haven't <laughs> prepared, Brother Philip, anything catching with did Canada? Did you submit one? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was totally, guys, this is like high school all over again. I came totally unprepared and I. No worries, Brother Philip. I think, I think what we can do. If do you have any activities that you've had recently, or if not, you can just ask Tita, Tita Jona or at the cat to, you know, just Tita Jona. Tita Jona or yes. Anybody, Tita Jona. Yeah. <laughs> Let me catch you there, Queen of the Lip. No worries. The um, in the district of Edmonton, actually tomorrow at two p.m., we will be having like you. You just had the inaugural worship service here in the district of Edmonton. We will be having the inaugural worship service of the new group worship service of high level. So 
awesome, awesome praises be unto God. And we are inviting everyone, if you are free, this is at 2 o'clock at the High Level Arena Complex. So we're expecting a lot of brethren, hopefully a lot of visitors as well, to join us in that inaugural worship service in the uh, District of Edmonton. I believe this is, if I'm not mistaken, the 26th. Um, uh, GWS and local congregation. So thanks be to our almighty God for that. What about there in BC at the cat? Anything happening there? Yes. Um, we also have tomorrow, we have an upcoming uh, doctrinal instructees and um, a special gathering and appreciation in the Burnaby Chapel for tomorrow, April 14 at 5 p.m. And we're very excited to uh, have also uh, different uh, local congregations and gathering in that area. And we also um, going to have, actually, that's all. This is the, the next part that I'm going to say is for CFO in action. But I guess, Kuya Carlo, um, it's time for CFO in action. <laughs> no, no worries, Ate Kat. Thank you so much, Ate Jona, Kuya Philip. Uh, and at the cat again for sharing uh, the activities that you've had in your district. And so again, let's go on to our CFO Step in action. action. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. So I believe there we had in the locale of Moncton, there will be a Moncton singing for a cause. Okay. Like as you can see, they're doing the, That's correct. I think they have. Uh, that's in the elderly. I think in the um, yes, yes. They call them? retirement of, homes or yes. the CWS were singing for a cause. I can see the children's worship service were singing for the senior citizens there in the local congregation of Moncton. This activity was actually featured multiple times. Oh really? Yes. Was, praise be to God for so that. It's it's really <laughs> great to see that the kids are doing such uh, voluntary work and. You know, just involving themselves with the elderly because I think uh, for those elderly, seeing those young children, just singing for them, it, it really does help them in a way. And also, most of all, it helps them spiritually to restore yes, that yes. faith, maybe for some seniors. And again, shout out to the local congregation of Mountain, yeah. all the CWS officers, the children that are there, especially to their efforts for being there for the seniors and just showing up at the retirement places. So again... As you can see, they're wearing the INC giving, so Iglesia and Cristo giving. They go out, do community service, community works, and uh, you know, it, it's a big... This is one of it, the activity, right. they're visiting the elderly homes and giving them a little bit of um, treat by giving them like a show time, mm -hmm. singing. I think they gave some something... Uh, I'm not sure what yeah, it brings. It brings happiness yes. to the seniors, people, because especially those in the retirement home, you know, they don't really, um, they're very limited in their outings and stuff like that. And just seeing the younger generation just being there for them. So again, that's one of the many works that uh, that have been done, not only here in our district, but I believe there are also more in the our other, other districts. District. So let's call on the district of uh, BC. At the cat, do you have anything for CFO in action? Yes, um, for the CFO in action, last week we held um, a Binhi uh, forum um, last week. And so, praises unto God, there are a lot of our youth members um, um, participating in this type of activity. And um, we also have, I think it's still far away, but it, it's, it's, it's coming. We also have a CFO day coming up um, in two weeks. Um, and we're very excited, but we're going to have a lot of our local congregations again gathering in a CFO fun day. And last week, and Bo, they, uh, the local congregation of East Vancouver also held an INC giving blood donation drive. So praises unto God, because um, this type of activities are also being held even in the uh, different local congregations. So that's it for British Columbia. Um, We'll move on to Edmonton and then let Brother Philip prepare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'll go first, Kriya Philip. For the uh, District of Edmonton, uh, for the local congregation of Eastwood, where I am from, we will have a uh, CFO or Christian Family Organization bowling. And this is happening on Saturday. So this will be for the whole 
locale. So we are looking forward and we're inviting everyone from the local congregation of Eastwood join us in that family bowling activity, as well as uh, we also had our seniors appreciation, almost like what you had there, Kuya Carlo and Atilani. So we visited the Jubilee Nursing Home and uh, not just the children, it was actually the whole locale of Eastwood visited. And like you, what you did, we also rendered song number, there's like solo, there's like the children, there's like the adult. And so a lot of entertainment. And like you said, this is also part of our INC giving project. And, um, you know, what's really nice about this activity, like you said, just sharing kindness to everyone, sharing kindness to the seniors or the elderly. They really, really appreciated the efforts of everyone that have visited them. They felt the love and the kindness of the members of the Church of Christ. So if you are part of that and have not participated in such, oh, we invite you. Please, please join us and participate. It's such a worthy, worthy cause. There you go for the District of Edmonton. Thank you so much, Tita Jonan. How about there, Brother Philip? Do you have anything for CFO in action in your district of Calgary? Actually, I do. Modern technology has not betrayed me, and I have something prepared. So, District CFO Planning Conference, uh, it will be tomorrow for the District of Calgary. So, everyone, hopefully you will come through, and we will all make sure we have activities prepared for the upcoming year yes okay all right so thank you so much again brother philip uh tita jona and at the cat for sharing all the activities there for cfo in action or christian family organizations there in your districts and our districts as well and so again uh, we would like to give a greeting to brother moriel kadashu who i believe who's watching us live right now so hello, again po. hello po, thank Mariel. you for watching and tuning in thank you so much for, for your support and so again uh we also have much more support uh, in our comments on our YouTube live chat, Tita Leilani, would you like to read some? Yes, this this was uh, Sister Samantha Gail Ilagan again, and she said hi, Brother Carlo, and she so also said Hello, hi po. to me, hi Sister Leilani. Hello, po. Thank you for commenting, po, and tuning in to our um, INC radio, and move on to uh, Brother Elin Barandino. Hello, po, and. Sister Vicky Dumopoy, good mo good good early morning, Po from London. Wow, district, oh, district. of Great Britain. Hello, Hello Po, po Jensa, Great Britain. <laughs> Happy watching to all our brethren around the world. It's 1.04 a.m. Wow. 1 p.m. Yes, in the morning. Oh, 1.04 uh, a.m. Thank you, sister, for tuning We're in. Happy <laughs> catching INC Radio Canada Satellite Studio. Uh, Thank I, you so much, Paul. I think we have so much more to So, Tita Jona, again, giving shout out to our brother, our brother, our Christian, for always supporting. Thank you so much, Paul, for uh, <laughs> commenting as well. We also have brother Brian Takneng. Hello, Paul, from Edmonton, Canada. We also have sister Brunel Hello, with us. Hello, Brunel. Hello, everyone. Hi, Ati Brunel. We also have from sister Jet Ibanez tuning in from Montreal, Quebec. Hello, Paul. Hello, Jet. We also have brother JC Venezuela. Happy yes, viewing, Paul, from. Halifax again. Yeah. So I believe again, beloved brother, we also have brother FG. More comments here at the cat. Our brother Christian Neil. We have also sister Jet. Hello, Potita Jonah. So again, beloved brother, don't forget to give us your thoughts and your comments because again, uh, our topic for tonight's segment is Spring 101. And so all the activities that we were mentioned earlier in the oh. CFO in action, like uh, the retirement homes and stuff like that, because of the cold weather going away. Um, there are much more activities going on and beloved brethren, they can go out and dress up a little bit more. And just like earlier, we saw a Kadiwa outfit of the day. So uh, moving on, brother, Kuya Tech, we had, I think we still have more videos for Kadiwa uh, outfits of the day. So can we please play the next one, which is from a brother. Hi, I'm Brother William Samara from the local of Capito City, District of Ottawa, Canada, and this is my outfit for the worship service. I have a white long sleeve barong from this online shop from the Philippines, 
and to go with it is these black dress pants that I brought online as well and to complete the outfit is derby dress shoes and with that let's go attend the worship service okay so there you have it so brother a shout out to brother Andre brother Andre from the brother Andre Somer from just the neighboring capital city from the local congregation of capital city so again he was wearing the traditional filipino barong so very uh very neat and tidy very uh, christian attire like i see kuya jc here is wearing a barong with us so again below these are just ideas and just inspirations from the brethren here in our district to use for their worship service and their performances through he Almighty bought it God. online he bought it online because not only that barongs are not only exclusively made in the philippines but you can also order your own online so um, don't be shy, brothers and sisters, to everyone who's watching to um, just look into more church-appropriate attires. And just like what Brother Andre was wearing, he was wearing a barong. So, Tita, what's speaking of outfits for worship service, what's your favorite outfit or even uniform to wear? For Uniform? <laughs> yes. Oh, my favorite is I'm a vintage, you know, my vintage. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I love polka dots and I love long dresses dresses like gowns no uh yes <laughs> how about how about there uh tita jonah what's um what's your favorite outfit to wear for the worship service or for spring worship services i love wearing um trench coat uh at least it's it's um thinner material than our heavy winter coats and uh, I love dressing up, especially for the worship service. So anything like Atilani, I love. I love the long skirts. I love that. And um, anything that would complement and be appropriate for the worship service. And before I continue, I just want to say hi to my bestie who's there in our live chat at the care. Carolyn Schenk is uh, there and... Uh, also want to say hi to Ati Oz. Uh, she's also there in our live chat and a lot of from Edmonton that's greeting all of us here in INC Radio Canada. There you go, Kuya Carlo. Back Thank to you. Thank you so much, Brother Jonah, for sharing. And how, how about Brother Philip? What's your favorite uh, spring outfit or your go-to clothing for spring for whenever you go to church or activities or even the worship service? Ooh, I like to keep it black and slimming. So black pants, Black jacket, dark shirt, anything that complements the bod. I feel that, brother. Phil, you can you can never go wrong with the color of black, right? Because you know sometimes not not only it's very uh, masculine. The clothing that you wear, it you know it complements the physique or of someone, but also the color. Just like brother Philip mentioned, like when you wear all black, it just creates a more uh, defined look, a more let's say a slimmer, or in other words, it's like it. it it's all in uniform. It's not sectioned out when you wear all black. So I love wearing that as well. It's just a, it's a good, it makes sense. It's a, it's a good go-to outfit. How about at the cat? Yes, brother Carlo. Um, and like brother Philip, who's always neutral during spring, I love to wear my florals. You know, I wanted to uh, <laughs> blend in with the, the tulips, just like Tita Lani said, um, anything about florals mm -hmm. I love to wear during springtime and I like to complement it with a very light jacket um, and it's just nice that when you're wearing after winter you're all bundled up and then all of a sudden it lightens the load <laughs> and I just love that so yeah what about you brother Carlo what do you like to wear well that's perfect <laughs> that you asked that at the cat because we at tech can you please show the next video of the Kadiwa outfits of the day? Big brother. By, By none other than uh, you must <laughs> Hi, my name is Brother Carlo Marquez from the District of Ottawa, Canada, locale of Montreal. And this is what I'm wearing to church today. So today I got on this black suede jacket that I got from a secondhand store, as you can see. I got also these black pants on that I got for a suit. Also this brown slash beige necktie I got on, also at a secondhand store, with just a pin to a little bit accentuate the outfit, and also just the silver watch. And last but not least, to complete the outfit to match with the beige and the tones of the outfit, I got some brown loafers on. So this is what I'm wearing to church today to perform my duties to Almighty God. Wonderful. Wonderful. He looks, uh, I don't know who's that guy, but he looks who's very Who's that stud? <laughs> who's that stud? Oh, 
it's so, it's so proper very proper right brother carlo i wasn't sure but i asked this the right time i guess to ask yes, yes, just the, the right. timing the transition i think it was everything was buttery you smooth. transformed from being on on ozen <laughs> It was, you know what's funny is that actually I, re I recorded that at our place of worship in Montreal. So it, it, it felt, the question that you asked me, the transition, the segue, everything was just set in stone. So again, we, we just have, uh, again, sharing, thank you for, to uh, Brother Philip, to Ati Kat, and Ati Tita Jonah and Tita Leilani for yes. sharing your thoughts on <laughs> your outfits for the worship service because it gives ideas to the brethren here in, the, That's right. in our districts and all the districts over there to uh, all the more prepare themselves for the worship service and to just up their game when it comes to uh, dressing up for our Almighty God. And so uh, when it comes to dressing up, it also goes with how we should prepare ourselves for spring. So Tita Leilani, how do you prepare yourself for spring in here, a general sense? Okay, general sense here in Canada, because we have four seasons. So uh, we have to consider it the the temperature or the weather sometimes like today it's a bit uh, rainy or there's a drizzle so you have to prepare a clothing that is comfortable and um, you prepare also something to protect you from the rainy days and the shoes also is important uh, you have to provide a waterproof so you're not um, gonna get sick uh, you know um the 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 changing of the weather is very important uh, as we prepare our uh what to wear for the day especially but mostly i prepare uh, my my clothing uh a day before or that's good yeah or sometimes even a couple of days before a couple of days before yeah. Tita Lilani oh really has a structured plan so okay monday i'm gonna wear this choose them to wear this one so, yes, because uh, you know we have uh, different weather. Sometimes it changes in the morning mm -hmm. and the afternoon, so you have to uh, be adapted to the weather. And if it's become warm at noon, you just remove the what the sweater that like there's an opening in the in uh, at outs, uh, in, in the front. And then in the evening, a little bit cold, you have an extra coating to protect you from cold weather. Yeah. I mean, just like you mentioned earlier, just like uh, the weather is changing all the time that like we don't know how yes. it feels like. And sometimes it's even drizzly. But I mean, comparing to Calgary and BC, they have 17 degrees Celsius. That's why I don't think that's really a problem there, right? Brother Philip, how do you prepare yourself for spring there with 17 degrees Celsius and sunny sh sunshine, blue skies over there here? It's, you know, drizzly, all gray, a little bit sad. <laughs> uh, I like the rainy weather. It's very nice there. But, you know, I just take it all in. You know, winter, no. winter's nice. Winter, it's okay, but it's very cold. And I don't like the cold. So I like to go outside and feel just the nice, cool breeze with the nice heat of the sunshine and just embrace my day. But in terms of preparation, um, I definitely like to, this is going to sound out of nowhere, but I, I like to cook my food in terms of the weather, you know, prepare my food for spring. And I also like to, like Tilani said, prepare my clothes because, you know, it could get very, very heaty. Or it could be very, very windy. So you never know. It's always changing. That's true. Canada's <laughs> never, it's Canada's, it has that reputation for like cha ever changing weather. You never that's, know. That's, it's that's a thing. But I mean, so when you say like you prepare your clothes, is that like all black? <laughs> so one day is all black. I mean, what am I, what am I going to wear tomorrow? All black. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Maybe he has to iron it yeah. or. <laughs> like this shade of black today tomorrow's gonna be like gray tomorrow's gonna be a little bit more darker but you yeah. mentioned food. <laughs> what kind of food do you like to prepare for spring see this is where i was going with that in winter it's probably like hot foods like soups and stuff but for spring it's a little bit more how do i say i guess seasonal so i like to go with maybe for me personally like i would embrace more 
of my pastas and my carbs and you know my side dishes like my salads those cold dishes you can start get getting into that and it's very very fulfilling because i don't know i guess i like cooking do, do we have a cooking section i'll do i'll do a cooking yeah. section next time hey less brother can you tell us what's next I'm because we we're talking about food yes. and then you mentioned you're carbs right on time. and pasta so tita leilani what's the next let us uh, introduce our cooking segments uh the brethren in the district uh in, in our district of the local congregation, local congregation of the <laughs> from brother doug and sister rosalind <laughs> yes, and yes they're gonna make us a creamy tacos spaghetti for this cooking segment let us watch and how they make it So I guess while we're waiting for a um, cream. Me Mandalones from the local of Montreal, and this is what I'm wearing today. I am wearing one of my favorite church dress. It is flowy and lightweight fabric, which I really love. It also comes with a pocket from both sides. And I really love the shade of this dress. And the print as well because it simply complements my skin tone and i also match it with a pair of shoes that's it i'm off to church hi oh. my name is sister leveline Lungapit, and i'm from local ng Mitian and district of ottawa so i'm just wearing my simple dress a floral dress with the black shoes and a brown bag and i'm ready for the church let's go Okay, so I believe um, Korea Tech had something bigger in mind plan, which yes. the two sisters, with their outfit, they were actually, they were cooking. Okay, <laughs> so I think with their outfit that they had on, it was just <laughs> magnificent. <laughs> Would you agree, Brother Philip? They were cooking. At the Ellen they were from cooking. The local, they were cooking oh. with their splendid dresses, like at the Ellen from the local congregation of Montreal. Again, shout out to, she's newly married now. She's book club. Although it's supposed to be a Kadiwa segment, but Ate Ellen, she still volunteered because Ate Ellen has uh, so many nice outfits. And also from Ate, Ate Lem, Lem, from Nipien. So again, those two sisters cooking. The outfits on point, just perfect for the worship service. So maybe we could go now to our cooking? I think this time yeah. we're talking <laughs> literal cooking <laughs> instead of cooking. more the uh, philosophical uh, side. So Kuyatek, if you can play the uh, our cooking segment. My name is Doug Reed and this is my wife Rosie Lynn. And we are from the District of Ottawa, Canada in the locale of the PM. Welcome to the cooking segment of INC Radio Canada. So for today we're going to make what's called creamy taco spaghetti. Now why did you choose this recipe? Well it's very simple. I know you love spaghetti, <laughs> but I wanted to give you something with a twist. And nothing is better than having spaghetti with a Mexican oh, theme to it. So for this recipe, we're going to need the following. Obviously, we're going to need spaghetti. Then, what we're going to need is about three bell peppers chopped up nicely like this. Then we're going to need some spinach and some green onion. For our meat filling, we have chosen ground pork today, which we will season. Normally, we would have actual fresh diced tomatoes, but it's hard to find them in the produce. So what we have here are just uh, basically diced tomatoes in a can. Always going to need some olive oil. We need some heavy cream, about half a container of this for the recipe. We're going to need some seasoning, and this is basically a taco seasoning, so it's a blend of Mexican seasonings together. Some cloves of garlic, I use the jar stuff because it's just a lot easier than trying to grate it for this recipe. And la piste resistance, my favorite part. Oh, we have the cheese. Also for three cups, you put four cups in. Cheese is what makes it what it's so good. Alrighty, so we've got our olive oil heating up in the pan here. Once it gets hot enough, I'm going to add the first ingredient, which is our peppers. Oh yeah, listen to that sizzle. That's good. So. So, I'm going to roughly stir these for about three minutes while they soften. 
And while these cook, we're going to add three little small bits of garlic. Half a tablespoon for, for cloves, so about three cloves, so roughly about this much right here. Personally, me, I think you can never have enough garlic. Love the smell of garlic when it cooks. You love the fragrance. You can just smell the fragrances coming out. The flavors, they just come together so nicely. Mm -hmm. Smells very good. We're going to add our ground pork. Okay. So now we're just chopping up the pork and we're going to cook the pork with it. I think we're just about ready to add our seasoning to it. So I just use basically a whole package of it, just sprinkle it on, mix it in. There we go. Okay, so next we're going to add our tomatoes. Um, I'm trying not to get too much, of the, I don't want to put too much juice in it because then it becomes too uh, gooey. Um, so we just try and leave a little bit left over. So now we stir in our tomatoes and let that simmer for a bit. Looking good, huh? Just, uh, Okay, we'll let that bring that to a boil again. Let it simmer and boil. You stir the flavors in, see how the color changes. Look how beautiful that looks, really. Mm, and the smell too. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Nice flavors. So we're yeah. just going to bring it to a, a little bit of a heavy boil. Especially when you start to mix the cheese. Well, the cheese, the, the main star of the dish, absolutely the cheese. Yeah. So we'll let that, once that boils, we'll bring that to a rapid boil. And once it starts to rapidly boil, it'll basically boil off some of the liquid, make it thicker, and then we'll add the cream. And then uh, we'll be ready for the spinach next. We'll get the spinach out and then we'll just chop it up nicely. Right. The more we can tear it off, whichever doesn't matter. It's going to be the final. for watching and we'll see you next time on another segment of cooking on INC Radio Canada. Bye. Bye, -bye. That was so wonderful. Yeah. I like it. I'm going to do it in my own makes home. Me, makes me look very hungry now, especially yes, like that's with, a good with all idea. The, the recipes and the ingredients that you put together. Yes, the, the seasoning, a taco seasoning, they mm -hmm. put it in the meat sauce and make a spaghetti and make it cream. I like it, that idea. Thank you to brother, dog, and sister, Rosalyn Reed of Nipian. Thank you so much for sharing that recipe for us. And let us... I think we have more comments right here. Yes, Lani, allow tonight. me to read some more of the comments uh, from Brother Joe Badas. Uh, happy watching from Kapatid, uh, sa mga kapatid sa buong mundo, from local oh, of Eastwood, District of Edmonton, from Sister Robin Oranchuk. Hi, Sister Nina Nobelio. And Sister Brinell Mikam, is spring is summering here today, 19 degrees. 19 wow, degrees. I like it. Enjoy. So nice one. Yeah, Africa, enjoy. No. And uh, Brother JC Almerido, happy viewing INC uh, Radio Canada. As well, I'm just going to mention this scan from the dist from our own district of Ottawa. Shout Thank you for watching well. and tuning in, uh, especially Brother uh, Edgar Jacob. Jacob. From the yes. local congregation of Montreal, so... Again, Paul, uh, to all our listeners and viewers, we will continue with our discussion topic because I think we still have more to talk about, a lot more questions to ask. So, Tita Lani, can you ask, uh, what's your favorite thing about spring? 
my favorite thing in, in um, spring, of course, the changing of the weather from, you know, you bundle up and then you have to take out all those spring outfits, uh, and, outfits and I like that. It's so refreshing, especially the, the flowery, you know, girly the uh, polka dot design, designs, the, polka the flower designs. <laughs> I think that Jonah can relate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I think uh, I think Katu can relate with all she mentioned earlier that uh, you remove your thick coating and now you're just wearing more the light. Yes, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I think what's your favorite thing about spring aside from uh, removing the heavy winter jacket and stuff? Um, there's more daylight, you know, it just brightens my mood because, you know, from winter, you get home around 4 p.m. It's already dark. You go to work, it's dark. Um, the, the nicest about having spring is more sunshine, more daylight, and, you know, it just brightens the mood. And I think it's for everybody. You, you get to go outside more than, than coming from, you know, staying inside from winter. And I just like to enjoy, enjoy the fresh air except when I have to sneeze afterwards. But with the warmer spring weather, um, I, you no longer have to bundle up and you just go out and you can just enjoy the fresh air. You can open the window as well and your your doors, right? So that's that is so true. You know, you know, like when you're speaking about like opening windows and the doors and stuff and not to mention like, you know, the nights are getting longer and uh, more sunlight. You can stay a bit more late. Uh, one thing I, I like, my favorite thing about spring is that I'm able to sleep a little bit with my window open now. Because that's one thing that I know it's still a bit cold. People might say, oh, how do you do that? Like, it's still too cold. I don't understand, Carlo. How do you still, how do you sleep with the window open? Okay, I like personally one thing about spring or coming into like the, the transition of weathers is that let's say for summer, you need the air conditioning to run throughout the house. So you can't open the window. And then in winter, you have to keep the windows closed because you have the heater going on. But then in spring, it's kind of like you're in that middle ground temperature where you're in bed, but sometimes you get too hot or then you get too cold. When, when you open that window a little bit, it's like the perfect middle. So that's my favorite thing about spring is that I can sleep and I can open my window now while I sleep. Can I just share a sure, funny, funny, funny experience when I first yeah. come here in Canada on the springtime? I was so excited because from snowy weather and it's become spring. So I said, voila, I could... Uh, take out my newly washed clothes. Do you know what I did? I put it in the veranda outside my washed clothes to dry out under the sun. But I forgot I work all day. So when I come back in the afternoon or like early uh, night, it was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> so you forgot. If so you can the imagine changed. the rugs was like hard. It become hard <laughs> because the, the changes in springtime in here in Montreal. Uh, you know, in, in the morning it's like five degrees. At noon time it become like, like 15, 15, 15 yeah. yeah, sometimes seventeen. And then at six o'clock there it you go. Cold. It go almost five degrees again. And at that time, it becomes zero. I did not realize, I said, the sun is out, it's so nice. My wash clothes become hard, like frozen, like ice. Like, like ice. Yeah. So basically, when, so you took, when you took it out in the morning, it was cold. And then it just went through a full cycle. So yes. <laughs> I said, never going to do that again. I think that's probably one of the least favorite things about spring. So Tita Jonah, how about you? What's your favorite thing about spring? I think one of the things that I love about spring is not having to wear socks and boots. So my feet can actually breathe. And so you have to make sure that, you know, you have your nails done <laughs> and then you get to wear sandals. So your feet gets to breathe. So I think, especially here, when it's about 15, you can actually wear sandals already. It's, it's nice and warm. That's one of the things that I love about spring. Because wearing boots for like months, it's, you know, it's just tiring. It's just like, you know, you, 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 your feet has to, they have to breathe a little bit. So <laughs> being able to just wear sandals, it's, it's a plus for me. Uh, for your Carlo. That, that's so true. And plus, I don't think everyone has like three, four pair of boots. It's like when it's the colder time, we just have that one or two pair of boots where you're like, okay, that's enough for me. And then I'm going to change it to my shoes, right? But when it's spring, it's like, I can wear anything now. And so yeah. I've always wearing my, oh, my boots I wore like for three months. Mm -hmm. So it feels good that your feet can breathe because sometimes yeah. when wearing boots, your, our feet get a little bit too warm 
and you yeah. just want to wear something more lighter. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. So, Tita yeah. Lilani, what do you have? I think in the oh, comments. Oh, let's go back also. to comment section. Um, allow me to read the uh, sister Caroline Shank. Hello, INC Radio Canada. Hello to all the beautiful hosts. Thank you so Hello. much for especially my bestie, Ati Jonah Grace Lopez, <laughs> tuning from Sacramento District of Northeast California. Hello. So, of course, we have here uh, from brother, uh, from sister Robin Oranchuk again. Oh, she gives a big greeting to all the viewers that were commenting earlier. So, uh, so Again, shout out to Sister Robin. We also have from- um, actually Kuya Carlo. It's brother, brother Robin. Brother Robin. I'm yes, so sorry. he's from the district of Edmonton. Yes. Okay. Uh, brother Robin, he said uh, that looks so yummy. Going back to the cooking stuff, he said that looks so yummy. I'm going to have to try it and yes. make it. So I, I like think. It too. Uh, I thought he's talking like, about the outfit of the day. My bad. Right, like meal of the day, outfit of the day. Yeah. So you know we're transitioning <laughs> perfect into spring because we have all these. Uh, recipes, all these outfits to get into. We also have from Sister Imelda Asunshan. So, <clears throat> hello po, Tita Imelda from the local uh, Montreal. She said, hello po, Sister Lani and Brother Carlos. So, hello po, I have one, Sister Jonah, uh, Joe Vilo Lucas. Greetings po from the local congregation of Nipi. And hello po, hello Sister po, Jovi. Jovi. Hello po to all brethren watching tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tita Jovi. Again, shout out. She's the one who made uh, the video, a lot of the videos there in the uh, the local congregation of Nepean and the Ottawa region. So Tita Jovi is a big multimedia member and she's a big help to our district here. So again, shout out to Tita Jovi. Who else do we have? Uh, we have uh, Mac O'Komen. Good yeah. afternoon for INC radio host and greetings to all brethren from the local of Eastwood district of Edmonton. Atilani, actually, Kamak is one of our head deacons in our local. Oh, excuse Hello, me. Po, so sorry. Sorry for... <laughs> Also, we have from Sister Maurice Para. So, hello for my, uh, actually, my mother-in-law. So, hello for Tita Maurice. Uh, again, thank you for the support. She shared it in our group chats. So, shout out to Tita Maurice and the local congregation of Montreal. So, uh, again, uh, Brother Philip, can I ask you, what's what are the best things to do in spring, especially yes, there in, uh, in Calgary? Best things to do is probably sightseeing. We have a lot of good viewpoints. Scotland Hill, very good viewpoint. And to accompany that, picnics. Love our picnics. Again, bringing it back to the food. We like to cook. We like to just enjoy each other's company and look at the view. I think, yeah, when I remember when we went there in uh, in Calgary, I think, for, was it for the, I think it was the National uh, Unity Games. Yeah, there in Calgary, there's a lot of like big sightseeing and it's nice to go around with uh, with our friends. So I think uh, that's a big goal to go to Calgary, going to Banff. So again, yes. shout out Brother Philip again for reminding us and for those of us who went there and for reminding me again. So what's the best things to do in spring, especially there in Calgary? How about there at the CAT in BC? What are the best things to do for you in spring and maybe there in BC? Yes, Brother Carlo, as what Brother Philip mentioned, sightseeing is also one of the um, one must um, when you're visiting here, especially in Vancouver. During springtime, we have um, it's a similar uh, scenic view as if you're going to Japan. So you don't have to go to Japan because you can see beautiful uh, cherry blossoms um, on the streets. And just as mentioned earlier, go. Many, many, brother Carlo, I think you are mute. <laughs> um, yes. Shocked. Shocked. It's um, okay. At least you had something for CFO. Now. Yes. Yeah. As mentioned, you know, cherry blossoms and a lot of people here, especially when springtime comes. Um, many are also started going on uh, trails and uh, walk, uh, walking on the trails and hiking. So it's not very hot to go on the mountain, but it's still um, very nice weather. So yeah, brother Carlo. Thank you, <laughs> the captain. Sorry, sorry for interrupting. That's my that's my bad. I'm sorry for not being aware. But yeah, like you said, hiking also it's a big thing for spring because. Um, not to mention also there in Calgary and BC and the more northern parts of Canada, uh, there's more landscapes, right? Tita Lani, there's yes. a lot more sightseeing to do compared to 
I would like Montreal. to see the Tulips festivals in Ottawa. Yes, and Ottawa will have big festivals in the summer, Tulip Festival. And yeah. I think hiking also is a big part of spring. So that's one thing that I'm looking forward to do, the best things to do in spring. I mean, more so in summer, but spring is also a good time because it's still... We did a cabana soup. Cabana it's soup, a yeah. spring activity as well. It's yes. a tradition for Can Can Canadian yes. tradition. So cabana soup in English is actually <clears throat> sugar shack. So... It's a big thing here in uh, in Montreal and the Quebec province that yes. um, so basically you would go to the farms that are a bit more outside the uh, the city and it's like a big shack where they cook a lot of food you eat some Mostly eggs breakfast. like breakfast <laughs> like breakfast brunch uh, uh, yeah brunch we eat breakfast brunch and there's but the also highlights like it's the maple syrup fresh from the where, tree yeah they, they took the sap of uh, the the maple tree to create the maple. the, the maple the yes a different yeah. kind of uh, it's not sugar uh, a sweet mm -hmm. yeah the the legacy you could put it in a pancake yeah. that's like a staple anyone. thing here in Montreal and Quebec and uh, also it's a perfect weather to like have a f walk outside imagine things and seeing those plants bloom so again spring transitioning it's a time to go out because winter we're all you know, hibernating and, uh, but going into spring, it's the best thing that we go out, time to explore, seeing all the new restaurants, seeing all the new places that opened up because that's the time where things are starting to start we moving. We could eat in the terrace. <laughs> yes, we can eat outside now yes. and you can go out more, you can dress up more and those are like the best things to do for spring. So, so. Tita Lana, what's the also, uh, how about here in Montreal, what are the best things to do? Aside from all what we have mentioned, the last shout outs. <laughs> okay, I have a shout out for Sister Melissa Ibanez. Her birthday is coming up on Monday. Monday yes. so Happy shout birthday. Out to Sister and to my baby Lillian Grace Gossin St. Amad on 17 Wednesday. Happy birthdays. Uh, so, last shout out to Sister Jovi Lugas, our district multimedia team, and the PN from Sister Chloe, Brother Andre, but at the Ellen, at the Lamb. Uh, brother Doug and sister Rosalind, uh, brother Doug and Rosalind Reed. So again, for our last greetings, we'd like to thank. Uh, before thanking our district here, how about there at the cap? Would you like to have any last of your shout final out. last shoutouts? Yes, um, as mentioned, I've already greeted our district ministers and um, our ministers here in BC, but I also would like to give a a greeting to my husband, who's always watching INC Radio. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thank you, Ate Kat. How about there, Atita Jona? Any last shout outs? Yes, actually, just want to shout out my husband, Kuya Henry, who's actually in the Philippines right now. So, hope oh, you're in right. vacation, although I miss you so much. <laughs> my brother Philip, how about for you? Everyone shouting out their spouses. Oh, okay. Shout outs to my, to my future wife. You're out there somewhere. Shout out to our significant other, brother Philip. So, whoever is out there for us, shout out to our future, future. Okay. <laughs> So without further ado, we'd like to thank our district minister, Brother Moriel Kadashio, our assistant district minister, Brother Aaron Maniabo, our CFO advisor, our overseer, Brother Jail Robigado, and lastly, to our district multimedia advisor, Brother, Brother. FG Bunak and Brother JC Almerido for being here with us. And Sister, and Sister Janina, Janina. Will bell you. No So bell. big support behind the screens. They're here with us right now. And Sister Leilani. So thank you. you Brother Carlo. <laughs> Also, we'd like to thank uh, our tech in the main studio. Thank you, Brother Emmanuel and Daya, our executive minister, uh, producer in the Americas. Thank you to Brother Arnel Solano, our INC radio station manager. Thank you so much, Brother Angelo Eranio Manalo, our SEBC president and, uh, and CEO, and our beloved CFO coordinator. And most of all, we would like to thank our dearest executive minister, Brother Eduardo B. Manalo. Thank you for tuning in to INC Radio, Radio Canada. Canada. Merci de voir écouté INC Radio, Radio Canada. Canada. Tune into the next program. Highlights. Highlights. Thank Bye. you. Bye. See you next week. We love you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank Tune you. in next week. <laughs> My brother Philip. <laughs> Thanks, brother Phil. Thank you, Kuya Tech. Hello, Kuya Tech. Hi, KJC. Hello, KJC.